Hello, I'm Maddie Sisko, and this is the planning and process through my design. Starting off with the study of the human hand, I made a base sketch and then traced it with other mediums. One of my key words that I kept in mind as I drew these studies was dynamic, how our hands can be just as expressive as our faces. I moved past the two-dimensional and created a sculpture. I used density and the stylization of my wire to create an evocative piece. Here, the change in light shifts the focal point from one area to another. Moving back to the two-dimensional, the study of my sculpture under the influence of light helped record how dynamic the denser areas of my wire hand were. Expanding the view back to the entire sculpture, the focal points of the piece were highlighted and taken into account with what areas I believe should be highlighted. The upper left is what I thought was most important for the frontal view, and the bottom right is what I thought would be the best to highlight for a side view. Moving to the physical again, the studies here laid the groundwork for how the rest of the box would be designed. The first rendering of the project. Even at the end, this remained the core design throughout the process. Here, I was able to work backwards. The creation of the GIF of my box enabled me to dissect my design and evaluate the overall concept. Here, the actual GIF shows how I thought best to construct my design. The stepping process through the construction especially helped me think about how my box would be presented to viewers. The cladding design evolved a lot, but here my first plan was very symmetrical and I believe did not add much new to the composition. Here the design becomes reality, though I did begin to reevaluate my composition, especially once my hand sculpture was inside. I decided to turn things upside down, literally. I first used a section drawing study to see how my hand would look if I chose to alter the box before I changed any of my rhino renderings or actual models. Once I put it into Rhino, I flipped it, which I found that the dynamic and evocative points returned to the front and center of my design. The GIF walkthrough gives more dimension and realistic angles to my composition. Scale figures were then added to show a more understandable presentation of my composition. The final product. The cladding attached and the hand sculpture suspended inside. The longer openings highlighting different aspects of the wire hand. And then the horizontal opening invites a 360 view of the focal point within. A video of my box is best to represent my composition, as I would want viewers to walk around the box completely when in person. Lastly, the composition under different influences of light, the dynamic shadow adding more interest to the composition. Thank you for your time.